Malisha Nibonse, welcome back to my channel. I'm so, so glad that you decided to join me today. Uh, for those of you that may not know, my name is Tembi Fletcher and I make eclectic videos. And today I'm going to be bringing you another fall fashion inspiration video. So grab a coffee or a tea or some popcorn and let's get right into this video. So um, today I want to be focusing on the basics, basically like fall fashion basics, because I believe that every wardrobe or closet needs basics because these are the um, fundamentals of fashion basically. And these will definitely help you to figure out how to style your uh, clothes a lot better and even just make fashion a lot easier for you. So yeah, that is that. Yeah, so I'm definitely excited to show you some of the basics that I have with me here. And all of them of course are thrifted because I'm an avid thrifter and I highly recommend that you try it as well if you've never done it before. I know that it can be a scary um, space <laughs> to try to navigate but it's actually a lot easier than most people think and ultimately it's really cost effective and quite sustainable as well so that is why I absolutely love it. And yeah that's that. By the way before I show you my first recommendation in case some of you are wondering, I know my hair, the elephant in the room, I changed my hair. I actually did this myself because obviously if you're African American or black or get any extensions or hair done, you should know that it's extremely expensive if you pay somebody to do it. And so I basically just do my hair myself and that has helped me to save my marriage because <laughs> I'm just kidding <laughs> well because I with the amount of maintenance that I do it's easier for me to DIY everything because I would have made my husband an extremely broke man should I be engaging in having to pay someone else to do <laughs> to basically <laughs> help me look presentable but yeah just I'm just being silly anyway let me go ahead and show you uh, give you my first recommendation so I'm also going to be looking at images on Pinterest just so we can compare prices and I think this is more so for me to encourage um, you to thrift a little bit more and money's tight for most people wallets are really really tight for most people and so thrifting is a possibly a good way for you to spend some money on some good quality items, but also save tons of money at the same time. And so the first recommendation, of course, number one is loungewear. And loungewear became a big thing, I think, in 2020 when we were, you know, during the pandemic. Everybody was staying home. We had no choice but to stay home more often. And so loungewear was just really big at that time. Now that the world is open, of course, people are dressing up a little bit more. But I will say that loungewear is going to be a basic because it was one of the greatest inventions of 2020. And of course, it existed before that. But I'm talking about, in this case, I'm talking about really really sophisticated loungewear just like the outfit that I'm wearing right now it's a pant and um, should I call this cardigan let's just call it a cardigan and cardigan set this is in a fleece material it's very very soft it's very very comfortable but then it also makes me look put together because I probably because had I been wearing a sweatshirt while I was filming this video I probably wouldn't have looked as sophisticated in just a sweatshirt or a hoodie but this kind of just takes that loungewear up a notch and I think that was a really good invention thank you I guess whoever invented it was it skims well the designers basically thought of it and so thank you designers this has turned into a basic in my own closet and it is definitely something that you can find at the thrift store because like I said now that the world is open 
people are wearing more, you know, more of a variety of fall clothing. And so a lot of people donated their loungewear. And so you get a chance to be able to get that for yourself if that's the type of vibe that you like in the fall to where you just want to be comfortable while you're at home. This is definitely a basic that you can thrift. And so that is that. And then also I think to kind of add to like the not necessarily sophisticated loungewear, but sweatpants and hoodies or sweatshirts are definitely basics in my own fall closet. And so I just wanted to kind of give you another, um, <coughs> another look into what it is that you can thrift. I thrifted this um, windbreaker, these windbreaker pants a couple of weeks ago, and these are by the brand Skillcraft. I think they're called Jwad Skillcraft, and these are medium short. So these are really, really cool because you can wear these outside. These are perfect for when you're going out on a run, while it's cooler outside, or you're going out for a walk. They're just really, really nice warm pants for you to wear. But at the same time, you can also elevate these if you want to maybe go out somewhere and do something that's a little bit more social and sociable. And like, you know, going out for drinks with friends or you want to go out to lunch or you get you out on the town. This can definitely be, these can definitely be a set that you can elevate by just putting some heels on and then you can wear a nice sweater or cardigan or you can even put a blazer over them and they will just look absolutely fantastic. I saw these on the runway. Yeah, that was, I think the fall trends runway video that I posted probably a month or so ago. I had featured these because I saw tons of these on the runway and so they're definitely in this fall but I consider them to be basics for sure and then something else that I think every closet needs another basic that every closet needs that you can definitely thrift as well are a pair of jeans or denim in general my pair are by Giorgio Gio, it's so hard for me to say his name Gio, 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 Giorgio <laughs> Gio, <laughs> let me stop trying. No, let me not give up. Gio, Giorgio Armani. Oh my gosh. Armani jeans. Let's just call them that because I cannot pronounce that. Giorgio. G Gior we, this video is never going to end if I keep trying this. But yeah, I got my Armani jeans at a thrift store. These were only $3. And you can see the brand right there. Armani and is this LA yeah Armani jeans that's the brand and these are just a really beautiful light wash straight cut jean and yeah so for three dollars I have been able to wear these for over five years now and I mean what more could I say if you can find name brand clothes at the thrift store for three dollars versus buying them online for about 900 to 1500 upwards i don't even know now which one would you rather choose because if i were given the option to save 90 percent or even 98 percent off of the retail price of clothing uh, certain brands by buying by thrifting them why would i spend tons of money to just to try to get them when i could save does that make any sense? I'm sure it makes sense. At least it made sense in my head. Probably didn't make sense when I <laughs> when I articulated it. Yeah. But yeah, so jeans are definitely a basic. They're a must have for me, for my closet. And I'm sure most people do like wearing jeans because they're just so easy to style. So that is that. Another thing that I wanted to show you, let me try to move these out of the way as I am showing you these recommenda recommendations <laughs> I'm sorry guys it's Saturday I wasn't even planning on filming today but I decided to pick the camera camera up because I didn't want to leave you hanging for the next five days without you seeing a video so I definitely did this for you so I know I'm probably being really silly in this video forgive me but <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> yeah, so another recommendation or basic that you definitely need in your fall, fall closet are scarves. This is an oversized, oversized scarf that I thrifted last weekend. I've already washed it and it actually just needs a bit of stitching here and there because it's got a few holes. Well, it's got a few holes there. But I can easily stitch it up because it is a uh, great quality. And by great quality, I mean that this scarf is, what is, it? it had a tag. Did I cut it out? I wanted to show you, yeah, here's the tag. It is, 70% lamb's wool and 20% angora, angora angora rabbit hair so and then it's 10% nylon so nylon I think is in a natural material but I know that the rabbit hair and the wool lamb's wool are natural materials so it's one of the higher qualities or one of the highest qualities of scarves that you can find on the market and these when you buy these from um, luxury brands these will cost you an arm and a leg you're going to be paying over two hundred dollars just for a scarf like this and guess how much I paid at the thrift store 20 cents 20 cents for lamb's wool and I think that's another thing is that even though it's torn you know it has some holes in it I can just I'm basically just recycling it or upcycling it by patching it up and I can give it new life so that is great for me I don't think you need to get rid of always need to get rid of something just because it gets torn and whatnot or gets you know packed up or whatnot unless you just can't revive it but I can definitely do that with this one and I am going to be flaunting it over the fall and winter season winter months because it is so so cozy and it makes me look like I'm on the runway doesn't it fashion baby <laughs> I'm one of those fashionable models. I feel like a model in this. Just so, so cool. <laughs> Let me stop. Let me stop. I need to stop. Yeah, so anyway, this is another recommendation. So that is, was that two? That's number two. I'm sorry, I didn't even give you the numbers. But number one was loungewear. I added the, well, number, this is number three because I added, I gave you the denim, which is number two. Oh my gosh. This is what happens when I film impromptu. If I don't plan it out, it just this is it just doesn't work. <laughs> but yeah, the third basic that I wanted to share with you are trench coats. Trench coats are a must-have, at least for me, and I'm pretty sure for most people in the fall. Having a trench coat is just like having it's almost like having like a house dress in a sense because this is just so essential for you, especially if, let's say, you dress down, like it's pretty chilly outside and you're wearing sweatpants and a sweatshirt and you just kind of want to like elevate the look. All you have to do is just throw a trench coat on and you look like a million bucks. So yeah, this is another item that I found at the thrift store. It's by a brand called London Fog. And I looked on their website when I thrifted this like three years ago now. Uh, their website sells, I think this one has been discontinued, but I saw a couple of trench coats over $100, so they're not cheap. But I managed to score this one for about five, and it's just held up its quality. It's extremely amazing, and it's just something that I believe that everybody needs to have in their closet in the fall. And then you can obviously tweak it according to your preferences. I'm super tall, so really long trench coats look better on me. than I mean, I can wear short ones too, but I prefer the long ones because I just feel like I'm they're hugging me and I feel super warm and cozy in them. But if you're a little bit shorter, you can go for a shorter cut or you can go for something a little bit more medium length. But that's the thing is that they're also, they're so versatile as well. So you you definitely be able to find these at the thrift store as well so that's number four for my recommendations for number five I would say that finding a really good polo neck <laughs> my husband is probably going to divorce me because of this <laughs> 
My husband does not like polo necks and so, or turtlenecks, and so me giving this as a recommendation, he's like, what, what were you thinking? He's probably going to be like, what were you thinking? But I love them all the same, and I consider them as basics because this is the type of clothing that is perfect for layering, in my opinion. I wear these all the time in the fall, and I think I've probably got like four different kinds, you know, three or four different colors in polo necks. They just come in handy, especially when you want to look a little bit more sophisticated. I, I consider these as, um, I, consider, I consider these to be sophisticated. I don't know about anyone else, but I absolutely love them. And I thrifted this one at Dirt Cheap. It was actually brand new, but Dirt Cheap is more so like a discount store. So I consider it thrifting because this was only a dollar. And I absolutely love it. It came in the color pink. I have it in multiple colors and it's just an ideal item to have and the good thing too is that you can get your hands on it as well if you go to the thrift store. I, I believe they're in, a, in abundance as well so that is that. And then another thing, um, we're number, are we in number four or number five? We're in number five right now. Something else that is a basic that you can thrift for the fall are cardigans or sweaters. If there's anything that I think you can definitely find at the thrift store are sweaters. They're everywhere, pretty much. You can walk in and you just see whole, just a whole section dedicated to sweaters. Even if you just go to like estate sales or you go to um, garage sales, most people have cardigans and sweaters on their racks and that's because they are a basic they are a necessity for the fall and winter time and so these will never go out of style regardless of the seasons and fashion these are a must-have and right now I have this military one actually I saw it on what is this commando it's commando Jack by Jack Young yeah, and this is 100% wool. It was made in the USA, so another one that is extremely high quality, 100% wool. And I know wool can be a little bit itchy, but it's actually just really good to wear. And then the good thing is that you can definitely layer it by wearing a long sleeve shirt underneath. It's not as itchy. For some people, some people find it extremely itchy. I'm okay. I've, I think my body, my skin has kind of gotten used to it because I've been wearing it over the years. And yeah, it's just super duper cool. This is in an army green. Like I said, it was made, I think, for soldiers to wear in the fall and winter time. And I got to put, um, I got to get a piece of it um, for about 50 cents. And I love it, absolutely love it. You're going to see me wearing this a lot in the fall and winter months, and that is that. So now moving on to, um, my kids are back. Hi. Hey. How's it going? How did it go? I see that that's slushies. Go ahead, Bella. You're letting flies in. Come on. Oh, she's trying to take her shoes off. Hey, guys. <laughs> okay, where was I? I think I was on number eight. I showed you number seven. I should have. I'll just try to put the numbers up here just so while I'm editing this video because I'm pretty sure I've just. I'm, I'm confused at this point so yeah okay so for number eight let's just call this number eight and I'll correct it accordingly yeah number eight for my recommendations is a knitted dress so yeah knitted dresses are definitely on trend this year and they're basically I think even though they're on trend I don't think they're ever going to go out of style now because they've turned into basics for most people and including myself. So this is clothing that you can definitely find at the thrift store as well. I have found my fair share of knitted dresses and the one that I'm going to be um, showcasing right now is this beautiful black, all black knitted dress. This is super cool, especially for this time this time of year when it's just cool. It's a lot cooler, but it's not too cold yet. You can wear this by itself, and then of course when it starts getting colder, you can layer it as well. So 
absolutely love it very versatile as well and that is why i consider it a basic and yeah so that is recommendation number eight and now moving on to number nine i think i'll go ahead i'll show you two versions of uh basics and that is going to be pants so for the pants the first version that i'm going to show you are just regular um hold on let me find let me pick them up right quick regular uh tailored pants i've got these in black they're very very sophisticated i wear these Sometimes, I mean, I wear them all year round, but especially in the cooler months, so that is fall, winter, and springtime. In the fall, I get to wear them as is, maybe just with like a sweater and, you know, a sweater tucked into them, or I can wear them with a long sleeved polo, <laughs> polo shirt, or you can even wear them with a button down shirt as well in the fall and then just add a blazer on top. These are perfect for the office, they're perfect for um, events, they're perfect to wear anywhere. I mean, you can wear them anywhere and that is why they're considered basics is they're so, so versatile as well. And so I've had these for a couple of years now and they have held up their quality. I don't know what the brand is called, but I think these are vintage. I'm pretty sure these are vintage. Oh no, they're actually women's pants because there were these are by Liz Claiborne. And thank you, Liz. I absolutely love these. These are definitely my favorite uh, tailored pants. And then another version of tailored pants that are definitely on trend this year are leather. Lush, 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 rich leather pants. And the ones that you're definitely going to be seeing on the high street and even on the runway for the most part are faux leather. In order for you to be able to get your hands on real leather in this climate, if you're going to go with luxury brands, the luxury brand route, you're going to be crying because it is steep. It is so, so expensive to get your hands on. But I was fortunate enough to get my hands on 100% real leather pants at the thrift store for, can you guess, $3. $3, people, and I don't even have to go the full leather route, you know, the synthetics and all that, because I found these at the thrift store. These are by Valerie Stevens, and this is New Zealand lambskin. I think, I don't know if it's the, yeah, I guess it's made out of, oh, it's made out of New Zealand lambskin. So this is lambskin leather, so, so soft. It's so, so beautiful, so durable. It is so sophisticated as well. And it's just, oh, I'm going to be living in these pants in the fall. A definite basic for sure. But here's the thing, I, I will say you can thrift this, it's not in abundance as much because I'm pretty sure most people, whenever people find real leather at the thrift store, they get their hands on it as soon as possible because it's just so hard to come by. It's a luxury um, item. Lastly but not least, I am going to <clears throat> showcase this beautiful piece of material of fabric and I will say this is probably the main the main basic for me like when it comes to fall fashion it's a blazer <laughs> uh -huh, it's a blazer yeah so blazers are considered a basic in my closet and for most people because they are just so versatile as well and I'm going to be saying versatile over and over again because it is true. You can wear a blazer with almost anything, in my opinion. Uh, you can wear them with jeans, you can wear them with dresses, you can wear them with skirts, we can wear them with um, pants. The list goes on and on and on. And that is why I really love having blazers in my closet. And that's because I have come to just love how well they work with my forward fall wardrobe you know I can wear a t-shirt and jeans and put this on and I end up looking like I'm going to a business meeting 
that is the beauty of having something this structured and just having something so so sophisticated is that they just work they just make your closet you know you know they just take your closet wardrobe up a notch so that is definitely one of my best recommendations you can find these at the thrift store they're in abundance as well almost as almost or even the same or maybe even more than you'd be able to find sweaters blazers are everywhere at the thrift and so you can find them at really good prices as well this one was only a dollar i think all of my blazers and even like suits were probably no more than five dollars and that is why i love thrifting and yeah, so that is everything that I wanted to share with you in this video. I didn't want to include footwear because footwear is a tricky um, topic for me when it comes to thrifting. I only thrift it when, you know, the shoes are just like amazing and I have to have them. Because the thing about footwear is that so many people wear shoes you get what i mean you you don't know what somebody else's feet were like and it's not something that most people clean on a regular basis although i clean everything i mean i clean scarves i clean footwear if should i get it but i usually don't because it's just to me just seems like more bacteria goes in there because most people don't clean their footwear with clothing i can bleach it or i can throw it in the washer with OxyClean um, Tide Pods. I can do so many, you know, it's easy for me to get somebody else's DNA off of those clothes. <laughs> so, I don't know if I'm making this, I don't know if, if I'm making this easy for you to want to go thrift. It's, <laughs> well, bottom line is, I think footwear is something that each person gets to choose for themselves. It's not something that I highly recommend personally, but I I probably do have like one or two pairs that I've thrifted and I love them. So yeah, that is everything <laughs> that I wanted to share with you today. Thank you so much for watching. If you were able to watch this video till the end, make sure you give it a thumbs up. And then also don't forget to subscribe because it's really going to help my channel out. And I'd also like you to go ahead and leave your YouTube channels. If you have a YouTube channel and you happen to be watching this video, please leave your channel in the comments down below and I'll make sure that I'll check them out and show you some love and support as well. Reciprocate the love and support. And yeah, I hope to see you all again next time. Love you. God bless. Goodbye. Bye.